Hello everyone, Jade here and today finally after so much wait, PUBG Lite has officially released in India. So in this video, I'm gonna show you on how you can easily download and play PUBG Lite without facing any errors. But at first, I would like to thank all of you guys who donated me and showed your support so that I can build a gaming PC which I can use for streaming games for all of you guys. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is visit lite.pubg.com which is the official PUBG Lite website. And here the first thing that you'd want to do is create a global PUBG Lite account. If you've already pre-registered and created an account then feel free to skip this part. So in order to create an account simply click on account on the top right. Now here click on create my account. Then here fill up this form and again click on create my account. Just keep in mind that you remember the password that you set here cause you're gonna need it later. Once done, head back to the home page and then click on download. Here you're gonna see the minimum and recommended system requirements and the download button as well. But before downloading the client, you need to ensure that your system has all the required softwares installed in it to run the game without any errors. So down here, you're gonna find the link to all of those softwares that are required to play this game. But I'm gonna show you an easier way to download all of those softwares because here, you'll have to download all the Microsoft Visual C++ files separately which is a cumbersome process and the DirectX 11 setup is also a web installer, which means that you won't be able to install it without internet. So in order to ease your process, I've left two links in the description box of this video. The first link is for the DirectX 11 offline setup and the second one is for all-in-one runtime libraries. So just download both of these files and since they are offline setups, you don't need to worry about downloading them again and again. I'm not gonna download them as I've already downloaded them here on my desktop. So for the DirectX 11, extract the files like this. Then open the folder and install DirectX 11 by opening DX Setup application. Then install all-in-one runtime libraries. That's it. Now go ahead to the PUBG Lite website, click on download to download the game client and since I've already downloaded it here, I won't be doing it again. So once done, you'll get this file, so double click on it, then press OK, next, I accept, next then check create a desktop icon and then click on next and it will install the launcher in your system which will look something like this after it's done. Now the last step which is logging into the game and downloading the game files. So for that open the PUBG Lite launcher from your desktop. Then log into the PUBG Lite account using the email id and the password that you used while creating the account earlier. Once you've done that here you'll see the install button. So click on it and let the system download all the required files. The file size would be somewhere around 2GB which is not much as compared to most of the other popular titles. Once completed, you'll be able to play the game by clicking on the play button. Just keep in mind that every time you want to play the game, you just need to log into your PUBG Lite account and click on play. As simple as that. Now if you own a very low end system and the game lags for you, then subscribe and stay tuned as I'll soon bring a dedicated video about that. And in order to find fellow teammates, don't forget to join my discord server which is specifically for PUBG Lite players. As of the day of uploading this video, it's already crossed 700 members. So thanks a lot for the huge support guys. And for more PUBG Lite related videos, check out my channel as I've been creating different types of PUBG Lite related content for the past 5 months. So this was it for today. Do let me know if you have any suggestions for my future videos. And as always, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Till then, cheer out.